Hi, good morning. I have improved the game and I figured that if I make any changes to the game, it calls for another dev devlog. Um, I think I've made enough significant changes um, and have playtests enough to talk about it a little bit more. And I think, yeah, having this channel as up to date on the game as possible would be probably good. So, coffee. Um, what happened? I took my game into my day job and forced my coworkers to play it over lunch. And I have been carrying around my game and forcing um, any friends to play with me as well. And basically just getting a lot of data and trying to improve the game as we go. Um, and I have made some minor tweaks. Uh, oh, two things to mention before that. Number one, um, yes, the camera is flipped. Turns out um, when you have text on a not on a flipped, it was flipped, spoiler alert. Um, when you have text, it reads backwards and I am wearing a shirt with text and I've realized that. I like having the camera flipped because it make, means it looks kind of a bit more like a mirror <laughs> and uh, it's a bit easy to film with. Um, but I think long term, it's probably best if I don't flip it. So anyway, that's a bit of a, an adjustment for the channel. I look the other way and also the couch is on this side, not the other side as you're probably used to. What else? Um, yes, and last video I said there are three things I want to change and then I went on to go talk about two of them. Um, the third one that I had forgotten to mention was the idea of the star fruit moving around and at, at some point throughout the game, um, like it was carried by ants. But I think that I shouldn't be doing that. I think having the goal in a stationary position where you know where it's going to be so you can plan ahead is important for the game. So I, I won't be implementing that change. Um, yes, I made a new grid for myself this morning. I was using this one in the office. You can see it's even like torn um, as I was improving it. It is changed to an eight by eight. So number one, um, it was a seven by seven in the last iteration, the last devlog. So a yes, eight by eight now. And it has coordinates. Um, not that you can see because it's written in highlighter. But never mind that, I've made a better grid. And everything fits in this little box. I've been, yeah, being able to just like take this. It's in a protective case. It's a Magic the Gathering card case. Just chuck it in my pocket. And then when I go out, I'll chuck it in my handbag. Um, I can, yeah, we're at a cafe, at a restaurant. I can just pull it out and ask people to play test for me. Um, so that's been very handy. Uh, oh, and the other thing is uh, I need... More play testers. I think having a, a print and play model, just a free one available just to gather data and see how people enjoy the game would be fantastic. Because I think that a lot of my friends are, are players that already play a lot of um, strategy games. And I need data on people who don't play strategy games or kids. And I just don't have access to that. Um, I really, I'm very, very much in love with the keychain idea all the game pieces are fitting in this little capsule, which is fantastic. And I think that that's an important part I should carry with me. And I think that um, I'm a bit conflicted around the keychain idea at the same time because it appears as a very casual pick up and play quick game thing. But in, in reality, it's quite in depth. It's a long strategic game. Like games take 15, 20 minutes. It's not like a five minute game. So and the theming as well is, is quite like uh, cutesy currently. So I think I still like the theming and I think that um, I, the theming will stay, but I think the expectations around the game length and the um, gameplay aren't really represented well currently. I mean, everything is made of paper, so um, Look, it, it will change anyway. Uh, and then the other thing is I'm currently still using paper for these because it's easy to test with um, for the grids. But in the future, I think for the next iteration, what I'm going to do is use my Cricut machine and make a grid out of um, some like iron on material and then get some fabric so it can roll up and sit in the capsule. It's currently in two pieces because um, the paper, I, the green paper I have available uh, only comes in very small sizes. Um, so it is... Um, goes this way. I have some markings on it as well. So this is, yes, eight by eight and the coordinates go one to eight on each side. And I also have some markings. I have some X's in the middle and I have some um, circles on the outside. Those are currently just representing some spawn locations and they don't do anything else. 
This is my desk setup with my TCG mat. I've rolled off to the other side for now. Don't judge me. Okay. Let's put this here. Hopefully it's not too bad to see. But um, yes, two X's are, this is the middle, middle of the grid. Um, and they basically say the star fruit and the rocks can't spawn there. Oh, we haven't even talked about rocks. Two rocks start on the field. And this is because it gives the players the ability to go for something other than the star fruit to give them an advantage if the star fruit's not immediately in reach. Um, and I think that's really, really good for gameplay. Um, okay, let's have a look inside the capsule. Currently I have one D8, two D8s, and I've replaced my button rocks with some scrunched up um, paper clips because I keep losing the buttons. Um, but these little pieces of yellow spaghetti will do as rocks for our game today. The star has stayed in shape, surprisingly, despite being paper, and these are falling apart, and by next iteration, surely I would have made some more. Um, but yes, they, they, oops, they've been fantastic. Really, really happy with um, these so far. So yes, eight by eight grid, two D8s, one star, four rocks. So what has changed? The grid? The rocks, you get one per player. I'm going to put them next to the O's because this is these O's are representative of the starting locations for the grubs now. Um, and this is so that you can have these X's in the correct spot um, so that you don't put things there. Because we found that any time there was a star here, um, it was very, very, very easy for the player closest to that star to win even if the um, player furthest away from the star went first. It was just uh, the unfortunate reality of, of the game because they could either fall this way and roll to the star and then eat it, or they could start over here, or they could start facing up, fall this way, and then roll to the star. And if the other player starts with only one rock, and they place it this way, you just fall the other way, um, and, and vice versa. It was just very easy to always win there. So, um, and I think that also because you can eat rocks, gaining an advantage, putting a rock there is also not a good idea. So the, this iteration of testing, nothing can spawn there. And obviously because the uh, grubs have starting locations, nothing can spawn on these locations either. The two D8s are for coordinates. You can see we have these beautiful coordinates down the side and across, and they are for spawning everything because the locations of everything are random. The star can spawn literally anywhere, including right next to one of the grubs. And the other thing is that two rocks will start on the field in some random location to give you something to maneuver around, to give you something to aim for, to get an advantage. Um, or to try and like have a wall already there to try and block in your opponent. And I think that that's been a really, really good change. Um, it's, it's definitely the thing that makes the game less deterministic so far. So, um, let's give the game a go. Let me, uh, just demonstrate the setup. So I'm going to say that the, um, the dice with the spades, it's sparkly and got little like spades inside, like um, playing card spades. And then this one I picked up from Behold Games last night. Um, shout out to Behold Games. So uh, the red one will be across. So let me roll these. Knock over my grub. One, eight. So actually the star um, is spawning all the way over here. And then we have the rocks. Two, three. So rock number one. Um, two across, three down, rock number two, four, three, four, three. Right. And if I was to land on one of these X's for one of those coordinates, um, then I would actually re-roll it because I just don't want anything spawning there. These start on their locations and you get one rock each to start. And then the game plays as normal. Um, I think I discussed the idea of being able to slide forward one 
in uh, the previous dev devlog. That's no longer a thing anymore. I won't be doing that. Um, this is just the standard movement of rolling and eating to eat like rocks or the star fruit. And you can block with your body. Um, I'll release a little rule book with the print and play perhaps that I have made. I feel because I'm constantly updating the rule book. I'm not sure. Um, no, I should, I should, I should. Okay. Um, it's a bit hard to play against myself, but this is why I need play testers. So yes, um, after this, I'll, I'll make a print and play or something. Maybe it will release along with this video. Maybe I'll make a separate video. I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, this is the current state of the game. I found it's actually, um, been really good to, uh, watch people play it, um, and help it get to this state. And when I watch like my coworkers play it or friends and family, like these games do take a while. They're currently sitting at like 20 minutes long. Um, it's kind yeah, it's strategic. It's a game of chess, but with simple movements kind of. Um, and yeah, there's the, your own game of how do I get to this location through movement? Like, do I have to move this way, then this way, then this way, then this way? But then there's also worrying about your opponent and their location. I think it works quite well. I'm really proud of how simple the um, mechanics are and the components are to make a complex game. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed hearing about this little update. And yeah, stay tuned for more information in the future. Thanks for watching.